Here is my desktop mode, right? If I press the Steam button, the menu that is from gaming mode will pop up. I can even watch YouTube videos, visit website, and download files through the gaming mode. I think the best thing I can do here is switch between the desktop mode and the gaming mode on the fly while I am gaming. This is incredibly useful if you need to look for some game strategies while you are gaming, so we can quickly switch to desktop mode without closing the game. I bet your Steam Deck doesn't work the same way as I just showed. The reason that I can do this is I have enabled the Nasty Desktop on my Steam Deck. The Nasty Desktop will give us quick access to the desktop mode without exiting your gaming mode. Here I have compared the time it takes to switch between gaming mode and desktop mode for both methods. Before this test, I have never realized it took so long to switch between gaming mode and desktop mode. So it took 16.9 seconds to switch from gaming mode to desktop mode through the nasty desktop. The nasty desktop only used one third of the time that the normal desktop mode took. If you frequently use desktop mode, then the nasty desktop is definitely worth to use. The nasty desktop is one of the best features that Steam OS 3.5 offers, but this feature is disabled by default. Before I show you how to enable this feature, first I want to talk about stuff that don't work on the nasty desktop, so you can make your mind for this hidden feature. First, the Steam clients cannot be opened from the nasty desktop. The reason for this is pretty simple. We already have the gaming mode running in the background, so the system just can't open another instance of Steam. Second, the Emudex Steam Room Manager cannot be opened. I believe the reason for this is the same as the first one, because the Steam Room Manager requires a Steam client running in the background. So if we try to open Steam Room Manager, it will send us back to the gaming mode. The last issue I think is the biggest problem right now with Nasty Desktop. After switching to the Nasty Desktop, we are not able to transfer files among SD card, USB flash drive, and even internal storage. This is the error message we will get, and I have no idea what's causing this issue, but it seems like a system bug. Despite the issue I just mentioned, many great features work flawless on the Nasty Desktop. Here are the features that I have tested and they are working on the Nasty Desktop. While we are gaming, we can switch between games and desktop apps on the fly. Also, switching between gaming mode and desktop apps are insanely fast. Every switch just happens instantly. If you are jumping between gaming and desktop mode frequently, this is going to be a game changer for you. We can use Firefox to watch videos, visit websites, and download files. I believe downloading files is the best feature here, because while we are gaming on the deck, the nasty desktop will allow us to continue downloading files in the background. This feature is just so d good. Through the nasty desktop, we can use all the desktop apps, which include all your emulators and emu deck. On the nasty desktop, installing apps from Discovery Store and changing system settings are working perfectly fine. After talking about so many information about nasty desktop, here is how to enable it. First, switch your Steam Deck into the desktop mode. Then go to System and open Console. Then copy this code on the screen from my video description and paste into the console, and press the button A, or hit the enter key on the keyboard, and wait for the process to finish. Then we can close the console, and switch back to the gaming mode. Once we get to the gaming mode, then press the Steam button, and go to the library. If we go to No Steam Library, we will see the Steam OS Nasty Desktop show up here. The first thing we need to set up here is change the controller, so we can use the trackpad on the Nasty Desktop. To do this, press the controller icon on the right side. Make sure under the current button layout, the template should use mouse only. Make sure you press the X button to save your change here. Once the controller setup is done, now we can launch the Nasty Desktop. 
it should work right away. From now on, you can access desktop mode without closing your game. The nasty desktop enable process is finished at this point. But if you want to make your nasty desktop looks a little bit fancy with artwork, maybe just like mine, here is how to do it. In order to add artwork, we need to use Steam Deck plugin, Steam Grid DB. So make sure you have Decky Loader installed first. If you need tutorial for Decky Loader and plugins, please check out this video on my channel. Once you have Steam Grid DB installed, then select the gear icon on the nested desktop and press button A. If there is no change artwork menu show up, just go back and press button A again. The second time you will see change artwork option, so select change artwork. On this window, move to the last one, manage. Here we just need to set up three artwork for current capsule, wide capsule, and heroes. I have uploaded all my artwork under this video description. If you want to use mine, you can just grab from there, or you can make your own. So here I will go each section and select my artwork. Once all the artwork is set, then we can go back. You will see all the image get updated. The nasty desktop is now become an instant menu to access your desktop. And that's all for this video. Please don't forget hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below if you have any questions. As always, thanks for watching.